Hi and welcome back to this channel. Let's continue our discussion on selection control structures. In our last video, we talked about how to create a one-way selection control structure in a program using if statements. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a two-way selection control structure using if else statements. The if else statement is useful when you want your program to choose between two action statements. On the screen, I have written the syntax of the if else selection statement. If you look closer, it has the same syntax as compared to the if statement, except that here we have added the keyword else and a second action statement. So up here we have declared our variable age, which is making reference to the age of a person, for example. Here we have the if, we have our condition. Then down here we have the first statement. Else here is another keyword. Then following else is the second action statement. So now during the execution of this program, if the condition age greater than 18 here, evaluates to true, then the first action statement will execute. But if the condition age greater than 18 evaluates to false, then the second action statement will execute, skipping the first action statement. So according to the code I have written, that means that if the value stored in my variable age here is greater than 18, then the message you are eligible to vote will show in the console. But if that value is less than 18, then the message you are not eligible to vote will show in the console. So let me run this program and you will see what will happen. So here in our variable age, we are storing the value 20. So the condition is age must be greater than 18 for it to evaluate to true. So 20 is greater than 18. The condition will evaluate to true. If I run this program, we are supposed to get you are eligible to vote in the console. So that's what we are getting. You are eligible to vote. But if I change it to 10 and then run, we are supposed to get the second action statement, which is you are not eligible to vote. So guys, this is what we call by a two-way selection control structure. As you can see, it is allowing the program to choose between two action statements. With a one-way selection control structure, you can only choose a single action statement, but with a two-way selection control structure, you have the possibility to choose between two action statements. So guys, that was it concerning the if else and how you can use that in order to create a two-way selection control structure. I hope this video was informative and uh, thanks for viewing. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next one.